Well, good afternoon. If it's Tuesday, and we're not at 12.30 Eastern today, I'll tell you why about that in a second. It's Tuesday's Tips live here with Michael from the broadcast studio and StreamYard and my home office. And the reason why I didn't come to you 90 minutes earlier is that I actually did a coaching session live today, face-to-face -face with a client in a corporate office here in Tyson's Corner. First live session I did with a client coaching-wise in over a year. Uh, we're fully vaccinated. They were fully vaccinated. They're doing kind of the um, come in and come out type of thing for kind of rotating with staff. And my customer said, come on in. The water's fine. So uh, that's why we're doing 2 o'clock today. Uh, so we also upgraded our stream yard a little bit. So we're coming in to you today in 1080 uh, video. So the video should be a little clearer. We did shave for you guys today. So uh, that's got that going on. Got our logo in the top corner there, Training Solutions. So uh, a few changes here, a few changes here. It doesn't change what the topic is today. We're still going through this leadership journey, vision, alignment, execution. Really working with leaders to make sure they get those three steps down, work about the drivers, work about the behaviors, really to take their leadership skills to the next level. So right now we're in the middle. We're in the alignment phase. I mean, as we talked earlier, the alignment phase is the hardest phase. A lot of leaders craft the vision, put the stake in the ground, you know, have this big, broad idea, uh, and then they want to execute that vision. And then they forget about this whole alignment thing. And the whole alignment thing is important, as we talked about. you got to create the passion, the emotional connection to those who you're trying to lead, your followers, and you got to get the tasks also in place before you start moving forward and getting that execution. So over the last couple of weeks in the alignment phase, we talked about clarity, being very clear in your messaging. We talked about dialogue. Talking to folks at the small level, the big level, having those message points. So for the next two weeks, we're going to talk about the third step in this process of the alignment, and that is inspiration. The third driver here is inspiration. And there are two things we're going to talk about with inspiration. One is being expressive, and the other is being encouraging. So today we're going to talk about being expressive and why being expressive is so, so important when you're, when you're actually trying to get people energized passionate about this vision. I work with a lot of leaders where this is a natural state for them. Being passionate about projects is who they are. They do this all the time. But then I work with a lot of leaders that are more reserved. They're not expressive. They're kind of laid back. Uh, their body language is backwards, not forward. So it's really, really important for them to stretch a little bit here and to be expressive and when they're encouraging and inspiring the team around this vision. And this takes practice. Of course, I'm going to give you a few tips today. So to be inspiring, um, you need to ensure, first of all, that the followers, the people you're, that you're trying to move forward, are connected with the vision at the emotional level. They need to feel this. They really need to feel this. Um, you get more effort and creat creativity out of those folks who feel a passion about, about this project the way you do. So some tips for being more expressive. Identify what you're really passionate about in the future and come back and talk about that. Like in two months, three months from now, a year from now, this is what it's going to look like. And that's why I'm excited. And that's why I'm passionate about this. I'm going to tell you why. Um, before you express your thoughts to the group, uh, write down what you're feeling and maybe put a label on it. And then you can use that feeling in being expressive to your group. Ensure that your body language and your eye contact, whether you're doing this in small groups or large groups or at the one-on-one -on -one level, make sure your body language is expressing the passion, the emotion you have around this particular vision or project. And if you're not comfortable being expressive in a large group, do small groups or even start at the one-on-one -on -one level. But have that body language, have that eye contact. Be that kind of a motivating, inspiring leader that you'll need to be to get folks on board with this new vision. And I always say smiling works. And that's another tip. Smiling, eye contact, nodding your head, uh, being motivated about what you're about to, to share with folks. Now, you don't need to jump on the table and scream at the moon. I work with a lot of leaders as you know, Michael, I'm not going to jump on the table and scream about this. And you don't have to do that. But you need to be expressive. You need to share your emotion, your passion with the group around this vision. And when they see you express that emotion around the vision, hopefully you're going to bring them along. And there are going to be folks around you that are just going to be as excited about it as you are uh, because that's kind of who they are too. They want to get excited about something. Um, so by being expressive, 
not being laid back. We'll do that a little later. There are times to be laid back. Now being expressive is the most important thing you can do in aligning people with the vision. This is connecting them emotionally, expressive. Next week, we're going to talk about encouraging, which is a different set of skills, but being expressive is very, very important. So that's our tip for today. Tuesday Tips with Michael live, wherever you're seeing this, send us some feedback. We're getting really good feedback on our live sessions. So send me a message. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next week live here in the broadcast studio, StreamYard, and live on whichever platform you are seeing this today. Make it a great week. Lead well.